Hi, I'm Engineer Tolentino. Welcome to Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. Here's another video presentation from 2014 graduating batch of Electronics and Communication Engineering. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Hi, I'm Paul. Priyanse. Yeah. Henry. And I'm Eliza. We are the representative from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. We are here to present our thesis study under the supervision and advisor of Engineer Rosedito E. Tolentino. Our study is entitled Design and Implementation of Robotic Shoulder Gear Using Electromagnetic System. The shoulder is the most mobile joint in the human body. While this joint is normally modeled as a single ball and socket connection, in reality, it is a complex series of joints packaged in a compact volume. Movement of the clavicle, scapula, and humerus all contribute to the rotation and translation of the shoulder. The shoulder girdle refers to the structure of the shoulder that is supported by three bones. The humerus, or the upper arm bone. The scapula, or the shoulder blade. And clavicle, or the collar bone. Shoulder girdle muscles stabilize scapula so the shoulder joint muscles will have a stable base from which to exert force from moving the humerus. It also contracts to enhance movement of upper extremity when shoulder goes through extreme range of motion and to maintain scapula in relatively static position during shoulder joint actions. The purpose of the human shoulder girdle is having high load carrying capacity with small motion capabilities. The shoulder gear del bears the full load and inertial forces of the arm and the range of motion of the shoulder gear del is significantly smaller than that of shoulder joint. For this reason, it is necessary to exert great force on the shoulder gear del part. In the past years, the operators used in shoulder girdle part of most humanoid robots or electric motors such as the shoulder of musculoskeletal humanoid Kenshiro. The traditional actuation method used in Kenshiro, which is called the linear muscle, is used to express the contraction of muscle in shoulder. This actuation method is composed of motor, pulley and wire, and the wire winded by the motor which works for muscle construction. Somehow, electric motors have some disadvantages such as in humanoid Kojiro. In humanoid Kojiro, even though the electric motors fit for muscle, it has some problem about power performance and its dynamic movement is difficult because the output is inferior to human. To be able to solve this problem, the proponents came up to an idea of representing the muscles of human shoulder girdle by using pneumatic actuators such as the cylinders and rotary actuators as their main actuators in implementing the 3 degrees of freedom robotic shoulder girdle. Ever since, pneumatic system is ideal in carrying high loads which needs a great force to handle. The design of the project was based on the skeletal structure and the muscles responsible for each motion of the human shoulder girdle. The proponents applied the pneumatic actuators as their main actuator to the robotic shoulder girdle and their position and orientation were based on the human anatomy of the shoulder girdle. For the control mechanism, the proponents designed an electro-pneumatic circuit of five is a three-way solenoid valve that can hold or trap volume of air inside the cylinder. Thus, the proponents can control the length of the extension and retraction of the piston rod of the double-acting cylinder. 
the proponents also designed a circuitry that can trigger the on-off switching of the solenoid valve. For the controller design, the proponents, through their research about the position of joints of the human shoulder gear delve, the position and placement of the potentiometer should be in parallel to the corresponding joint present. For the actual demonstration, the prototype can execute three ranges of motion of the shoulder girdle, which are elevation and depression, Protraction and retraction. Upward and downward rotation. To demonstrate the application of the shoulder girdle in lifting movement, the proponents evaluated the performance of the prototype with different given payloads. Feel a lot.